Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet some forked cluster stitches, which is a stitch that you see here and it's made up of clustered puff stitches that are worked in chain two spaces uh, in between each cluster stitch down below. So where other V stitches um, and you're just working simply double crochet or triple crochet or single crochet stitches, it creates a kind of a flatter fabric. This fabric is a lot thicker it has a little bit more texture and it's quite fun to work up. So thank you so much uh, for joining me today for this stitch tutorial on how to work the Fort Cluster Stitch. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here. Grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started. Okay, so now for our forked cluster pattern today, what you're going to need to do is start by making your slip knot. And you're going to need a starting foundation chain with a multiple of three stitches plus two. So any multiple of three stitches plus two. Today, for the tutorial, I'm going to start by making a chain of 20 stitches. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 19, and 20. So there's my chain of 20. You can start with any multiple of three stitches plus two. You're then going to begin working your forked clusters. For the first forked cluster in your foundation chain, you're going to work it in both the fifth chain from your hook and the seventh chain from your hook. How you're going to make that forked cluster is you're going to yarn over, going to count in five chains, one, two, three, four, five. In that fifth chain from your hook, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. You're going to do that twice in that same chain. So that was the first time repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in that same chain, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first four loops on your hook. And that is the first leg of your forked cluster. The second part is going to be done in the seventh stitch. So you're going to skip the next chain and in that next chain, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop and repeat. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first four. You'll have three loops remaining. You're going to yarn over and pull through those final three loops. That's your first forked cluster. Next, you're going to chain two. Then work another forked cluster beginning in the next stitch, skip one, and then work your second leg in the stitch following. So you've chained two, you're going to yarn over in the next stitch on your foundation chain, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, you're going to repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. With five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through the first four loops. You're now going to repeat that, skipping one chain in between. So skip the next chain, and then in the next chain, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, four loops on your hook, repeat, yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have six loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through those first four loops, yarn over and pull through the next three. That's your second forked cluster. So you're going to now repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. Chain two, 
work your next forked cluster beginning in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop twice, draw through the first four loops, complete the second leg, you're going to skip the next chain, then in the next one insert your hook, yarn over, draw through the first four, yarn over, pull through the last three. Continue all the way across. When you come to the final chain on your foundation chain, you are simply going to chain one and then you're going to double crochet in that final space. turn your work. For row two you're going to begin by making a chain of four. You're then going to proceed by making your first forked cluster in that beginning chain one space and the next chain two space. So to start your forked cluster yarn over insert your hook in that first chain one space yarn over and drop a loop you're going to repeat yarn over insert your hook in this chain one space yarn over and drop a loop with five loops on your hook you're going to yarn over and draw through those first four you'll have two loops remaining you're going to complete the second leg of that cluster in the next chain two space Once you have your second leg, yarn over and pull through the final three loops. Next, chain two. And you're going to work another forked cluster, the first leg being in that same chain two space that you just finished working in. And the second leg being in the next chain two space. yarn over, pull through your three loops, chain two, and repeat. You're going to continue that all the way across your work uh, to your final double crochet stitch or beginning, uh, in this case, beginning chain four. You're going to work your final double crochet stitch into that top of that chain four. I am just working my final forked cluster. Chain one, and then I'm working my final double crochet stitch in the top of that chain four. Now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat that row two, beginning with your chain four and turn your work. Work your forked clusters beginning with the first leg in that chain one and your second leg in the chain two and work them all the way across. And that's all there is to working this uh, forked cluster stitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick stitch tutorial on how to work the forked cluster pattern. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye!